if you enter the 40 sound system you listen to a kind of natural environment of sound where sounds can be anywhere where space can be confined and small or large and vast what i had in mind was to create the system very experiential to focus on what does it mean when someone wants to make music with space end of summer last year a booking reached me there was just one sentence which said, you're also going to play on a 4D system. You might need to hear it to understand what it's like. I went to the guys and heard the system and about after two minutes, I was hooked. I knew, okay, this is something really special, really forward thinking. daily life when you're walking on the streets you have sound underneath you or above you you have the cars passing you by and you really live omnidirectional and that's what you experience once you come into the 4d system it's really listening to sound as it exists in the world rather than being confined to a particular medium One of the initial sparks came from my studies of the work and life of Nikola Tesla. I found a lot of inspiration from how he wrote about space and their relation to our human energy. And I think that a lot of the initial ideas from 40 Sound are actually residing in the knowledge that comes from Tesla. My background is I wrote several operas and I studied classical music at the Conservatory of Amsterdam and in Berlin. Exactly the combination of music and theatre also led my ideas about space and music. From a lot of site-specific theatre work I did where the space is actually telling the story, it led to many considerations about how do we want to influence our listeners with sound and also brought about the many limitations that I found with technologies or means to actually do that. So these different ideas really led to starting setting up a concept like 4D sound for me. The first practice session was very difficult. The parameters I used to work with, something very simple like volume, panning, stereo files don't work but like after four or five hours, I kind of found a way. This first event, I kind of was disappointed because I knew that the system is capable of much more, way more. It can completely change your way of listening to music. current setup is a stage of 16 by 16 meters with 16 columns. We have 48 satellite speakers, so there are three speakers in every column. And then there are also nine sub-speakers underneath the floor. The development goes back to 2008 when I sketched out the first version of how the speaker should be installed in the space. We did the first test setup and we wrote the first software. In 2010, we teamed up with a new development, which was the vertical phantom imaging, which is possible with omnidirectional speakers positioned towards each other. And this allowed to project images that are not confined anymore to the actual size of the speakers. So the speakers kind of disappear from the equation and there was really like a, a space that you listen to instead of listening to a speaker. The software exists of two parts, basically. The first part is the GUI, which is set up in Ableton Live, Max for Live. We also designed a couple of interfaces for iPad using Lemur. The other part is the 4D engine, in which all data and audio gets processed. It's a Max patch on a Mac Pro, and for the artist it's not necessary to deal with it. Data and audio goes in and it translates it automatically to the 57 channel audio that gets distributed to the system. The big advantage of the last session I had on the system was that I was able to develop an idea of how it could work. What I figured out is that very simple sounds work very good. 
just because the system with its dimensions already adds so much interesting stuff to even like the most simple sine waveform that I knew, okay, I just need very basic stuff. So what I have is an MFB Tanzbear, a Nordly 2, an OP1, a Microbrute and two outputs from my Ableton Live computer, which I usually use for my live sets. In a whole it's eight signals and I move them around in space. I build up a grooving environment which is going to blow people away, I think. I hope. <laughs> I thought a contrapoint to the virtual sounds from the 4D system would be a real piano because virtual sounds, you recognize them as real sounds on that system. So why not put an additional real sound to it? I'm going to start with a sound which I recorded on the tram to hear. You hear the driver saying, where are you going? Where are you going? And then you hear the weird sounds from the tram. And my idea was to place it somewhere over the heads of the people and slowly letting it fall down, growing. But also it's live. So I don't know actually how it's going to be because I know that while I'm doing it. Every voice has an X and Z field and this is the Y axis which goes up or down. And there's also this button where I can snap back things. This is my bass drum. Um, something very interesting like as a live arrangement tool as, as soon as I put it up, um, up the room, the low frequencies disappear and once I press this button, boom, the bass drum is back there again. This is my system monitor which visualizes what I'm doing. You see those red plates, virtual reverb plates, which give reflections. Um, right now they are at the edges of the physical room, but I can move them away. So right now I have my Nord lead sent into the reverb because I figured out that this sounds fucking amazing. I definitely want to play more on that system. It's an instrument which wants to be played and like every instrument needs some practice. And I think the more practice and the more experience I have on the system, the more intense the experience can get. It's so much of a step forward. I want to have one at home. It's too expensive. <laughs>